much, I'm Frank Nicotero. You know, if you see me travel in the country, I'm actually on the lookout for as many people as I can find in these United States who will answer my questions. So come up and say hi. I always welcome it. Okay, then I come back to the studio so our two players can guess who had the treasures and who was talking trash. So let's meet our contestants. We have the lovely Carla right there. Beautiful name for a beautiful girl. And Kevin right there. Now you both know that you're competing for a cash prize, so get it together because only one of you will win. Now let's meet our three funky freshmen on the screens. First, Farah introduces us to the proper way to eat a Reese's. I understand you love everything bite-sized. Yeah. Like explain this. You you like like candy. Okay, check it out. You know those little Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups? Right. Well, they don't taste as good unless they're bite sized. You know what I mean? Here's your Reese's cup. It's average. Right. It's nice. It's beautiful. Right. If I break it open, one sec. Look at all that like peanut butter. You know what I mean? And like, there's just that little itty bitty layer of chocolate over here. You like it with the more chocolate and on the bite side. Well, cause it it tastes better cause there's like they're equal amount. I actually stole my Reese cup. And Lenny tells us why working in a vitamin store can be detrimental to your health. So Lenny, we both have red on. Yeah, you know, Valentine's Day is coming. I got a rocket. Ladies yeah. are coming out here, you know. We should work it together. Right. All right, there you go. What does, what does red mean when you wear red? It means sex, love, and rock and roll. Really? I think, yeah. We could pull that off, you know. So Lenny, where are you from? I'm from Venice, California. And what do you do in Venice? I work at a supplement store. Uh, there's lots of uh, big guys coming in there. I want you to show me to your spandex because uh, I, I need more fitting clothes for my big leg. Yeah, they all step on me. It's, it's... <laughs> well, you're a fit guy, you're doing all right. Dude, I'm like half the size of like all the men that walk into there, including the women that walk in there. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Tatum shows me how the kids are kicking it nowadays. So Tatum, where are you from? I am from Buffalo, New York. I live in Orlando. Now, were you named after Tatum O'Neill, the actress? Um, yes, I was. Ba Bad News Bears is like one of my favorite movies. I had a big crush on Tatum O'Neill when I was a little kid. You do? Well, that's good. Then you can have a crush on me. Oh, you're the first Tatum I've ever met. I'm the first Tatum I've ever met. So Tatum, how do you stay in shape? How do I stay in shape? Tybo. Tybo, you do a lot of Tybo? And his Tybo kick? I could do that. Do it. Come on. I got higher than you. See? No, you didn't. Um, <laughs> 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 All right, loosen up your collar. It's time to find out who knew it. I asked all three the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. You're locking a choice, and a correct answer turns you $100. On your mark, get set. Here we go. First question I asked of Farah, Lenny, and Tatum. What's a filet mignon? What's a filet mignon? Who knew it? What do you think, guys? Only, uh, only one of them knew it up there, Farah, Lenny, or Tatum. And you're both locked in pretty quick on that. You think it's fair, huh, Carla? Yes, I do. She knows it? Yeah. Knows her meat? She knows how to, to, to make a, a bite-sized candy, yeah, yeah. exactly. She knows about food. Yeah. Let's see, Carla. What's a filet mignon? Uh, is it French? Well, what is it? What is, I mean, what is it? A filet it's mignon. Fish. Is it fish? It has to be. Filet, right? Like filet fish a Filet mignon is actually like a really good cut of steak. It's meat. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Carla, she didn't get that one right. So if I would have said bite size for Lemon, maybe she would have known. Kevin, you think Lenny knows, right? Yeah, he seemed like a pretty smart guy, yeah. multilingual and everything. So okay, yeah. all right, let's check it out, Kevin. What's a filet mignon? Filet mignon is a French dessert. It's a dessert of some sort? Yes, it's got to be. Strawberries, whipped cream. Wah, wah, wah. That's not right either, Kevin. It was right. little Tatum. Right. She knew. <laughs> Tatum, what's a filet mignon? It is a steak. What makes it so like special, filet mignon? The way it's prepared and the way it's cut. It's a good cut of meat. It's the best. Good cut of meat. It's a great cut of meat. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next question. Forget that first one. Let's see if we can get you guys get 100 bucks. At an opera, what do you call the area where the orchestra sits? At an opera, what do you call the area where an orchestra sits? Which one of these guys knew it? Farah, Lenny, or Tatum? This is like our 70s show. We have Farah like Farah Fawcett, Tatum like Tatum O'Neill, and Lenny, Lenny like <laughs> from Happy Days. Hello. All right, you're both locked in. It's the 70s show. You both think Tatum. Kevin, she knows? Yeah, she got the last one right, so she seems okay. pretty, pretty Carla, you're looking for this too, right? Yeah. All right, let's yeah. see if we get you guys 100 bucks and on the board. At an opera, what do you call the area where the orchestra sits? The orchestra section. Oh, oh that's oh, a wrong no. answer. You both had Tatum. No, it's not officially right. Now, audience, who do you think? Is it Farrah or Lenny? Lenny! Lenny. Lenny. No, it's Farrah. Oh. At an opera, what do you call the area where the orchestra sits? The pit. Very good. Oh. You've been to the opera? No. <laughs> the orchestra pit, yes. You know, just for fun, what the hey? Let's see what Lenny said. At an opera, what do you call the area where the orchestra sits? The stage. I thought they were underneath like in a pit. No, no, it's the stage. 
It's, it's, That's it. But at an opera, at like a Philharmonic, but when you go see like an opera, they're underneath. There's no operas in Venice. What do you? Think? I've never been to an. I've never been to an opera. Well, you're privileged. <laughs> Where did Venice come from? I said nothing about Venice. All right, here's the last question around. Come on, guys, we'll get this one. If you're going to be out of town during an election, you should request a what ballot? Hmm. What do you guys think? Who knew it? Farah, Lenny. All right, you're both locked in, and let's see here. Uh, we, uh, you think Tatum, huh, Carla? Yeah, she's sophisticated. She knows Tybo. Right, she knows steak and Tybo. She's yeah. all sophisticated. Yeah. Knows that Tybo. Let's see. <laughs> if you're going to be out of town during an election, you should request a what ballot? An absentee written ballot. Damn. Damn. Oh my God. Have you ever to get an absentee ballot? Were you ever out of town? No, I've never voted. She got it right. Way to go, Carl. I'm trying to get out of my cabin. I don't think Farrah knew it, but let's see how she blew it. If you're going to be out of town during an election, you should request a what ballot? An out of town ballot. That's what it's called, an out of town ballot? Yeah. No, it's not, Kevin. I'm sorry, it's that's right, wrong. It's all right, it's all right. Recap of the scores, Kevin. Speaking of absentee, you're absentee from money. You have nothing right now. Carla's got a hundred bucks. She's happy. All right, we have to be absentee for a moment while we take a break. But don't move. Street Smarts will be right back with double the money, quadruple the fun. Don't stick Let's get to know our two in-studio contestants. We have Carly here. She's from Chattanooga, Tennessee. She's a housewife. Now, you were flirting with a boy playing softball one time. What happened? Yeah, I was flirting with this guy while playing softball right outside his house. Yeah. I wanted to impress him by making catching a pop fly. Cool. One came towards me. I went after the ball, ran smack into a brick wall. Oh, my God. I <laughs> didn't get a date. You didn't? No, uh, and I got to tell you, love hurts. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's a sacrifice fly, love. I understand. All right, Kevin. He's from Grand Island, New England? Uh, no. Nebraska. Nebraska, you got it. I saw, and Cl sometimes enough. I make mistakes. Uh, <laughs> so tell me about your little run-in with Richard Dreyfus. I had the dubious honor of getting yelled at twice in one day by Mr. Dreyfus. Why is um, that? Once for uh, mail delivery and once for a dirty room. Um, a dirty room. Only because I was working at the hotel he was staying at. So. Right. Well, you know, the room was dirty because he was building one of those close encounter mashed potato mountains there. Yeah. And you're like, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's freak out the scores. Zero for Kevin. Don't worry, guys. 100 bucks for Carla. Grab your favorite hanky. It's time to find out who blew it. All right, same question with two to time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. We're looking for wrong answers this round. Lock in your choice. Correct guess earns you $200. Plus, there's that dunce cap. You can only use it once this round. When you think your opponent doesn't know the answer to a question, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get the 200 bucks. But if they're right, they get the 200 bucks. Oh, the cap can be meaner than a sunny day on a redhead, so watch out. <laughs> All right, here's the first question I asked to both Farah and Lenny. A famous commercial featured animated frogs croaking what product name? So who blew it? Remember, we're looking for the wrong answer, guys. Is it Farah or Lenny didn't know about those frogs? All right, you're both locked in. You both think Farah. Carla, she doesn't know this one? Nah. I don't think she knows. Okay, and Kevin, you agree, huh? I'm thinking a little clueless on this one. All so, right, hopefully yeah. we can get you on the board here, Kevin. Let's see what happens. A famous commercial <laughs> featured animated frogs croaking what product? Bud. Budweiser. Very good. Budweiser, very good. She got that right. You both went with Farah. It looks like Lenny is the one who blew it. Let's check it out. A famous commercial featured animated frogs croaking what product's name? That was so commercial. <laughs> so Which one was that? <laughs> Zestfully clean. <laughs> no, that's wrong. All right, let's move on to the next question. Kevin, I swear to God, you'll get some money eventually. What are the, what are or you'll be the first days? person ever to go score this. All right, here's the first question. <laughs> next question I asked to Farah and Tatum. In croquet, what do you use to hit your ball? So what do you think? Oh, oh my God, you have a dunce, Carla! Put it up on Kevin's head, Kevin. I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds to answer the question. In croquet, what do you use to hit your ball? That would be a mallet. It's a correct answer! Way to go, Kevin! Nice job! Carla, you totally blocked you. Put that cap on Carla. Kevin, you take the lead. You have 200 bucks now. Now you each can get 200 bucks here if you tell me who blew it, Farah or Tatum. Nice job, Kevin. All right. And lock in when you think you knew who blew it. Uh, go ahead, Carla, try to lock in. I know the best cap affects you sometimes. All right, all right. Oh, that was mean. She looks so lovely. Call me, they, call me a name. No. Oh, she's above me. Now I feel like crap. All right, you both think Farrah blew it. Let's check it out. In croquet, what do you use to hit your ball? Croquet, a racket. There's a little, it kind of looks like, um, like something that you just like wrap in like 
something and like tie it with a bow or something and then like you throw it up like okay here's my croquet you right. see it all right throw it up and go or something and then you, you watch it go or something or something <laughs> she blew it to go you check that nice job you each get 200 dollars the correct answer is a mallet tatum got that right all right let's go to the last question around to farah and to lenny if your sweetie says, let's make it a blockbuster night, what do they want to do? So who blew it? One of them didn't know. Was it Farrah or Lenny? Did not know about that one. Lock in, you guys. And you're both locked in. Once again, you guys agree with each other. You think it's Lenny. Kevin, he won't know this? Doesn't know his brands very well, so no. Okay, Carla, you agree? Uh, I agree. Okay, let's take a look. If your sweetie says, let's make it a blockbuster night, what do they want to do? Watch movies from Blockbuster. Ah, that's a right answer. You both had Lenny. I'm sorry, I got it correct. Fair is the one who blew it. Check it out. If your sweetie says, let's make it a blockbuster night, what do they want to do? Uh, they want to make out. Want to make out. <laughs> What's a good night for you? With, you know, if you're with a boyfriend, what do you like to do? Well, me and my boyfriend like to... Like rent movies or something? No, we end up falling asleep. We like to... <laughs> Can I get back to you? No, you get back to you. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's recap the scores right now. 300 bucks for Carla. Kevin, 400 bucks. Yeah. Settle in with your sweetie. Street Smarts will be back in a moment with higher dollar values and more crazy answers. And be kind, rewind. According to the saying, a bird in the hand is worth what? Two stones. Hey, welcome back. Did you hear the starter pistol? It can only mean one thing. It's time to pick your pony. That's right. Each of you have to choose a person for the entire round. I try to guess it'll answer three questions. The correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. The Dutch got his back. It's worth three bills. You can only use it once. Now, recap of the scores. Carla has 300 bucks. Kevin has 400 bucks. And the player who's trailing goes first. Carla, that's you. So who would you like to lasso, Miss Pinky Tuscadero? Tatum. Go with Tatum. Kevin, how about you? I'm going to go with Lenny on this one. Go with Lenny. Okay. Carla, here's your first question to Tatum. And if you predict this one correctly, you'll take the lead. So good luck. Chicago sits on the shores of what great lake? So do you think Tatum got that right or wrong, Carla? I think she got it wrong. You think she got it wrong? Well, she did. It's 300 bucks for you and the lead. Chicago sits on the shores of what great lake? Um, Lake Superior. Is it Superior? I think it's Lake Michigan. Michigan? Michigan Superior. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Carl. You got 300 bucks. We're 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 bucks. We're the correct you answer is Lake Michigan. You got Michigan Avenue right there. Say hello to everybody in Chicago. We love you guys. All right. Yeah, Kevin, here's uh, your first question to Lenny. All right. If someone tells you they like to walk around in the buff, what do they mean? What do you think, Kevin? I think he's going to get that right. You think he'll get this one Definitely. right? Definitely. All right, let's see. If someone tells you they like to walk around in the buff, what do they mean? Naked. Naked, hot, erotic, juicy, wet, out of the shower, walking around the bedroom. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we got it right. Way to go, Kevin. Thanks, up to 700 bucks. You leapfrog back into the lead. Who likes to walk around naked? <laughs> okay, all right. All right, here's your next question to Tatum, Carla. Finish this New York Times slogan. All the news, that's what? Oh, that's a good one. All right, Carla, put it up on Kevin. Kevin, I'm going to read this question again. You have five seconds to answer it. Finish this New York Times slogan. All the news, that's what? Fit. That fits. It's a wrong answer, Kevin. You're close, but Carla gets the money. She's back into the lead. Now, whoa, whoa. Now, Carla, you can get another 300 bucks here if you tell me what Tatum did on this one. What do you think? Um, I... I think she got it wrong. All right, let's see if we get another 300. <laughs> Finish this New York Times slogan. Yes. All the news, that's what? All the time. All the news, that's all the time? Yeah. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Carla. That's good. That's wrong. You got 300 bucks. <laughs> you got the <laughs> you um, me, okay. All the news, that's fit to print. You were kind of close, Kevin. Close. But uh, what's that saying? Yeah, no cigar. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, here's your next question to Lenny, Kevin. You can rebound. Here we go. I asked Lenny, the cartoon character Wiley e. Coyote was what type of animal? Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> what do you think, Kevin? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say it right. All right, the let's see, Kevin. The, benefit. the cartoon character Wiley e. Coyote was what kind of animal? A coyote. Right, exactly. 
Sometimes people will say weird no, things. You're messing with me. Wait, you're you're messing with me. You've seen the show before, right? Yeah. Okay, well, you thought filet mignon was a dessert. It's a steak. I'm out of here. Dude, come on, man. He did get it right. Way to go, Kevin. Nice job, buddy. You're up to a thousand dollars. All right. Last question of the round. You each have one left. Carla's got twelve hundred. Kevin's got a thousand. So one more each. I asked Tatum spell the word lousy, as in I'm a lousy speller. What do you think, Carla? Think she could get it right or wrong? I I think she got that one right. Okay, let's see if we can get you up to fifteen hundred bucks. Spell the word lousy, as in I'm a lousy speller. L O U S Y. I am a lousy speller. You nailed that one. I did. Oh my God. Bucks. All right, Kevin, pressure's on. Your last question to Lenny. You can pull a little closer to Carla for the wager of death. I asked Lenny, complete this phrase, naked as a, hmm, what do you think? Naked as a what? Right or wrong? You think? Uh, I think you got it wrong. Okay. All right, let's see, Kevin. Let's find out. Complete this phrase, naked as a deer. As a deer. You're as naked as a deer. Naked as a jaybird. A jaybird? How is a jaybird naked? I don't know. <laughs> a, a, a bird? A jaybird? He got it wrong. Way to go. Yeah. All right, let's recap the scores. Kevin, $1,300. Nice yes. job. Come on. Come on. $1,500 and the lead. Now, when we return, Carl and Kevin will be making a final prediction on a question I asked of Farah, Lenny, and Tatum. I asked them, if you help a criminal, you can be charged as a blank to the crime. Yeah, whether you're going up or going down, you can't escape the wager of Move it and lose it! <laughs> Welcome back, Carla and Kevin. Here's the way it's gonna go. Now, during the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your current total. Good, good game, Kevin. Thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah. Final fifteen hundred bucks. It's a sprint to the finish line. One final question. One final winner. Now here's a question I asked Farah, Lenny, and Tatum. Three good ones today. If you help a criminal, you can be charged as a blank to the crime. So let's get your choices, Carla. You're hanging on to a two hundred dollar lead. Whose clip do you want to see? Farah. Going with Farah. All right, Kevin. How about you? I also chose Farah. You're also going with Farah. That means nobody chose Lenny, who was very funny, and Tatum, who was also a great contestant. Thanks for helping us out. That means there's only one clip left in the show. A very close game. It's up to Farah to decide who our winner is. Let's find out. If you help a criminal, you can be charged as a blank to the crime. A... A felony. Okay, that's a wrong answer. Kevin, you went with Farah. She got it wrong. What did you say? I said wrong. You said wrong. How much did you wager your thirteen hundred dollars? You wager all of it. Whoa! Take some up to twenty six hundred dollars. Kevin, you are now in the yeah. lead. Now the correct answer, of course, was uh, accessory. Accessory. Now, Carla, we saw Farah get it wrong. What did you say, Carla? I said wrong. You what? said wrong. All right, Carla. You had fifteen hundred dollars. You had to wager at least eleven $1 hundred to win the game, Carla. Everybody wants to know when you push that button how much you wagered. It's over 11 in the champ. 1200! She wins by one of the most of the day! What a game! Thank you, Kevin and Carla. What did we learn today? Well, believe it not, it's not a dessert. Thank you, Farrah, Tatum, and Lenny. Great show. I had a blast. See you next time on Street. If you help a criminal, you can be charged as a blank to the crime. An accessory! If you help a criminal, you can be charged as a blank to the crime. Ooh, an accessory to the crime.